During the 2017 MLB offseason, stories began to break about a Japanese baseball player who had the potential to change the game of baseball as we knew it. The last great player to come out of Japan was Ichiro Suzuki, but people even claim that he did not impact baseball the way Otani could. So what was different about this young player? Shohei Otani was preparing to enter the MLB as a two-way player, a feat that nobody had been able to successfully accomplish since the legendary Babe Ruth. Fast forward a few years, and Otani is now regarded as one of the best players in the MLB. He is coming off of a historic season and is the American League MVP favorite. But it was not an easy path to reach this level of stardom. So, how did he get here? What did his journey entail? Otani began drawing the interest of MLB teams as an 18-year-old kid when he was throwing 99 mile per hour fastballs. He actually was planning on signing with a team in the major leagues right out of high school, since that had been his dream. But after getting drafted into the Japanese Professional Baseball League, he decided to play a few years in Japan before moving to the States and playing Major League Baseball. He spent five seasons in Japan where he dominated the league. By spending those years in Japan, Shohei was able to harness his skills both on the mound and at the plate setting him up for success at the next level. The baseball world was full of excitement when Otani announced that he would be taking his talents to America to play in the big leagues. He was immediately the most sought after free agent in 2017, and teams such as the Yankees, Red Sox, and Dodgers were all rumored to sign him. Following a bidding war with a myriad of rumors linking him to various teams, Otani officially signed a six-year contract with the Angels on December 8, 2017. Nobody really knew what to make of this 23-year-old kid with an immensely high ceiling. Would this two-way player thing really work out? Could a professional baseball player truly be successful as a pitcher and a hitter at the same time? Well, the Angels bought into the idea and immediately announced that Otani would be implemented in both roles. In his first regular season at bat, Otani singled. He made a start in the rotation a couple days later and Shohei threw six innings while striking out six and surrendering three runs. And just like that, the two-way experiment was officially underway. Otani was the easy Rookie of the Year selection in 2018, as he hit 285 with a 361 on base percentage while adding 22 home runs and 10 stolen bases. Otani finished with a 4-2 record and a quality 3.31 ERA. He struck out an impressive 63 batters over just 51.2 innings as well. However, Otani endured damage to his UCL and required Tommy John surgery which kept him off the mound in 2019 and forced him into a full-time designated hitter role. Otani had a decent season at the plate in 2019, hitting .286 with 18 homers over 106 games. Since Shohei did not pitch in 2019, people around the league began wondering if the two-way player project was over. Perhaps Otani would be better suited to focus purely on hitting and give up pitching altogether. But as we know now, Otani had other ideas. 2020 was a disaster for the young star, as he was limited to just two games on the mound and hit under 200 at the plate. He stated that he felt frustrated as things were not clicking and the Angels were still not winning. Shohei was struggling in all facets of his game, and it was difficult to wonder if Otani would ever reach the superstar status that was once projected for him. Let's just say 2021 went a little bit better for the two-way phenom. With the injuries behind him, Otani was primed for a breakout 2021 campaign. He was ready to pitch and hit, and he became a true superstar in both assets of the game. Despite the Angels' struggles, Shohei's success led to his first All-Star selection, where hit leadoff and started the game on the mound. With an injury to Mike Trout, Otani became the face of the Angels, and arguably even the face of the MLB. He finished with just a .257 batting average, but hit an astounding 46 home runs with 100 RBIs and stole 26 bases. He even added a league-leading eight triples as well. Purely from an offensive perspective, he was already a multi-level threat with his ability to hit for power and run the bases. He also improved immensely as a pitcher. Otani pitched in 23 games to the tune of a 3.18 ERA. He struck out 156 batters over just 130.1 innings. Shohei Otani has officially arrived as an MVP-level talent in the major leagues. And speaking of the MVP, there's an excellent chance that he will win the award for the American League when it is announced. So how did Otani become arguably the best player in the game? Otani participated in grueling workouts and a strict diet to help his body stay healthy and improve his overall results. He bulked up to nearly 230 pounds and focused on building his lower half through various squat workouts. This helped him maintain his velocity on the mound while adding power at the plate. He visited the popular Driveline Baseball Academy as well, where many professional baseball players have gone to revitalize their careers. 
His strict dedication and desire for improvement led to the incredible 2021 season he had. Otani also used technology to enhance his mechanics, which led to advanced results on the field. The difference between 2020 and 2021 is truly remarkable. Okay, it is one thing to work out and eat healthy during the offseason, but what changes in Otani's actual in-game performance led to his historic 2021 season? Well, first of all, he was hitting the ball at an extremely hard level. Shohei led all of baseball with 24 hits over 110 miles per hour off the bat. If you're able to consistently square up the baseball, odds are you're gonna see strong results. He is one of only six different players to hit over 45 home runs and over eight triples in a single season, joining a short list that includes legendary names such as Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, Jim Rice, and Jimmy Fox. So his impressive hitting was a product of better mechanics which led to faster bat speed, and his offseason workouts allowed him to hit for more power. On the hill, Otani and Kevin Gausman of the San Francisco Giants both saw drastic results because of one pitch, the splitter. A well-executed splitter looks like a fastball coming into the zone, but immediately drops with the bottom falling out, causing the hitter to swing over the top of the pitch. The execution of the pitch led to hitters batting under 100 against Otani's splitter. The ability to tunnel that pitch off of his slider and fastball made him nearly unhittable at times. Tunneling pitches have become a hot topic amongst the baseball community. It can be best described as pitches that look the same coming out of the pitcher's hand, but all move in different directions. For Otani, the splitter drops straight down out of the zone as aforementioned, while the slider cuts away from right-handed batters and cuts into left-handed batters, while the fastball comes in straight and around 100 miles per hour for Shohei. So hitters are often left guessing and end up looking foolish when facing Otani. Okay, so the guy can hit and pitch. Cool. But his wheels are a whole other talking point of his game as well. Shohei's offseason workouts also increased his foot speed and led him to steal over 25 bases. He is the first player in MLB history to hit over 20 bombs, steal at least 20 bags, and pitch over 20 innings in the same year. He is also one of the fastest players in baseball with a sprint speed of 28.8 feet per second. He is an athlete in every sense of the word. Shohei is still only 27 years old and right in the prime of his career. The season he just had saw him do a little bit of everything. If he continues to perform at this level while playing on both sides of the ball, this is a player who will undoubtedly be in the Hall of Fame someday. While many still may argue for Mike Trout, Mookie Betts, Ronald Acuna Jr., and so forth, Shohei Otani has become the best overall player in the game. There may be hitters that are a bit more talented, and pitchers who might have better numbers, but Otani's never-before-seen versatility ranks him in number one amongst everybody, since nobody else can match what he is doing on the field. Speaking of Trout, here's what Otani's fellow star teammate had to say about him. To be able to hit and then go through eight innings, eight shutout innings, and throw 100 pitches and play in the next day, there's so much on his plate, and the way he's handled it is unbelievable. Star shortstop Fernando Tatis Jr. had this to say about Shohei. He's doing things that are really amazing. You really admire what he's doing and his work ethic. Yankees outfielder Aaron Judge commented on Otani as well. He's a once-in-a-lifetime talent. To be able to do what he does on the mound, throw in the upper 90s, great field for all of his pitches, he can pitch deep into games, and then to come up and hit three homers in a game, I've never seen anything like it. There is no question Otani has earned the respect of his peers, fans, analysts, and players love watching him do what he does on the field, and he is truly a once-in-a-generation talent. We will see what the future has in store for Shohei, but for a guy who is 27 years old and already being compared to Babe Ruth, it is safe to say that the sky's the limit for Otani.